but the, the, let's be honest here. The Christians, by and large, will deny that they're racist, but they do things that are racist, and like vote for Trump. So if you're wondering how someone could still be saying something like this in 2024, please let me explain. This guy is the only person in America who actually followed through with their threat to leave the country if Trump got elected. But he did it back in 2017. So he's sort of stuck in a 2017 time capsule. Because let's be honest, a bunch of racists just voted for Trump. He has no idea how much things have changed because he moved to Mexico. If you've been saying to yourself, if Trump wins, I'm leaving. Don't be one of those people that just say it, says that because you just want to mouth off. Follow through. I, I, I don't want to come across as being hateful towards Christians, yeah. but I'm hateful towards Christianity. Yeah. Because Christianity it, at its core is an exclusivity claim. It is, yeah. And, and the history of racism was obvious. Like there's no denying about that. I know it's a sad day in America. It was a sad time back in 2016 when I decided to expat. I'm not saying Mexico is perfect. I'm just saying it's not the U.S. So I just say, if you can, get the f*** out. So this guy obviously suffers from severe brain rot. But I must admit that I agree with part of his message. So I decided to leave him a comment and only focus on what I agreed with. And I even told him that I hoped he could find it in his heart to forgive us someday for voting for that man he doesn't like. And he immediately replied with, No forgiveness on my part, sorry. Unless there is a change in behavior, then I'll consider it. I'm done with that terrible Christian idea of forgiving people for no reason. And I think it's important to mention that this guy also claims that he left Christianity at some point. I've never made a better decision other than leaving Christianity in the church is when I left America. Meaning he used to be a Christian. But in this same video, he shows clips of his former lifestyle while he was still in America. And this is how he lived according to him. So this footage had to have been taken roughly a decade ago, right? So he must have left Christianity before that. And I suppose he had time to do so since in this footage from a decade ago, he has a full head of gray hair. I mean, it's starting to look a lot like Christmas in here, if you know what I'm saying. And since I'm not that easily offended, I went ahead and wished him well again. And at the time, I had assumed that this would be the end of the conversation. But he responded again, saying, I'll survive. It's not like I'm raging angry. I'm more flabbergasted that people, especially Christians who call themselves followers of Jesus, could support Trump. He's the antithesis of Christianity, even without the racism. A womanizing troll who is selfish, narcissistic, and gross on so many levels. If conservatives had nominated a decent human being who was a conservative in values but not a hateful, racist, womanizer, etc., etc., it would be a different story. Anyway, as to hoping it won't harm me very long, it depends. I had a talk with someone in the military, not a private... A major with many years in time, theater, and etc. Who said that Trump is very likely to do things that will push the states to the brink of World War III. If that happens, will you still be happy you voted for him? What if a million or two Americans are unalived by his actions? What if cities in Europe are removed from the mop? Will you be okay with your vote then? My unforgiveness is based on the callousness and uncaring actions of Christians who, by this vote, proved beyond any doubt that their devotion to Jesus is by lip service only. They literally don't even know what it means to actually be Christian and are only good at virtue signaling. So, of course, at this point, I've just got to come right out and ask the guy. Can you give me an example of the racism? I mean, seriously, how many times have you heard people say that Trump is racist and everyone who voted for Trump is racist? But then when you ask them where the racism is, they never can answer. And this guy is no different because his response goes to, did you watch this video or just comment on it? And of course, I had to assure him that I did indeed watch the video and it's 17 minutes long and I haven't included all of it in this video. The reason is, is because most of it is just a commercial for Guadalajara, which is fine, 
but he didn't mention in the video why Trump was racist either. So I don't know what he means by that. So I asked him again, can you give me an example of this racism that you're talking about? And his response is, yes, didn't you hear Jada? She's a graduate of Duke and she's insanely smart. Is one of only about 200 black women in America to have raised over a million in venture capital. Did you hear what she said? She walks in a room and she's assumed to be stupid right off the bat. That Christians don't see all the racism that exists in day-to-day -day life of black Americans is itself a function of racism. That you even are questioning this is a function of racism. All I can suggest is, if you really care, is to make some black friends, or at least listen with empathy and compassion to other people's experiences. This guy's advice to me is to get black friends. As if I haven't been around black people my entire life. He just assumes I've never known a black person strictly out of prejudice against Christians. And I actually did listen to what Jada said. And I'm sorry, but that's just insecurity. She's assuming she knows what's going on in other people's heads. That they automatically assume that she's stupid because she's black. Yeah. So when I walk into rooms, usually what I think and what I've felt by lines of questioning is that I'm first assumed to be stupid. So I'm working myself up from being considered stupid. So at this point, I still haven't gotten an answer to my question. So I asked him if he thought that involuntary perception was sinister. And it's my belief that it isn't. More than likely, these people she's talking about don't think she's stupid because she's black. In fact, they may not think she's stupid at all. But let's just say for the sake of argument that they do think she's stupid. If that's the case, then my guess is they think she's stupid because she says things like this. So then I asked him yet again to please answer this question, how is Trump racist? Because that's all I want to know. And I won't torture you anymore with my bad geriatric surfer dude voice. His response was just more recycled garbage. And he claims he can't tell me the full reason that Trump is racist. Even though we all know just how acceptable it is on YouTube to call Trump racist. There are no rules against that. So what is he talking about? But I think it's safe to assume that it's exactly what I thought it was. Nothing. And asking me if I've considered that involuntary perception is sinister? <gasps> That's deep. That's really deep. But the answer is no, it's not. And then he continues on and on about the credentials of his friend Jada. We all know these universities are indoctrination machines. Moving on. So that's when I finally found my logic and ended this conversation. I don't know what took me so long. I think it was just the initial shock of finding out that one of these crazy woke turds actually left the country. Good for him. And good for us, too. I think we as Christians and conservatives should encourage this behavior. In fact, I think we should take it a step further. Let's all find our own woke turd who's willing to move out of the country and sponsor them. Let's pay for their trip, but they have to sign a contract agreeing never to come back. I think it's a great idea. And that's all I've got for this one. See you next time. If you've been saying to yourself, if Trump wins, I'm leaving, don't be one of those people that just say it, says that because you just want to mouth off. Follow through. Pack up your shit. Get rid of stuff you don't need. You know what?